This is the final for Studio Art 1 and Advanced Drawing. This is the rubric that your finals will be graded on. It's graded out of a total of zero to five points. There are four sections down here. There's 20 points all together that you can earn. Okay, so let's start from the top. Neatness. Your project is clean. No smudgy marks, extra lines. You can tell you took the time to like fix up stuff. That's important. Um, you're going to get four points if there are some areas like one to two that need to be erased, smudges, fingerprints showing, things like that. Okay, so make sure you go back in and check stuff. You're not going to get any points if your whole project is messy and needs to be redone. We can see smudges and fingerprints all over. You're not getting any points for that. Creativity. We want you to be super creative in art. It is important. Um, I want you to create a project that's an original idea. Many creative elements are used like color, texture, emphasis, stuff like that. All right. So that's where your value scale is going to come in. If you use color, make sure you add color. But you're still going to need to be creative and original. If you use a picture that you find online and to do your final and you're drawing from that picture, okay? Because a lot of us need stuff to draw from. I get it. Make sure that you are changing a lot of it, like a lot. If I can still tell where your idea came from, you're going to be in the for section. If you're using pretty much the entire same picture and I can tell where it came from and you only change like two things on it, you're getting this area, okay? And it goes further on, all right? Um, you're going to get a zero if no creativity was used in this project and you're just copying it. You're not going to get points for creativity. Effort. Lots of effort was used. There are no smudges. No areas need to be redrawn. Details are used. So like this shows me that you took the time. You put the effort in. You went in and touched up stuff. You're getting good points here. If there's a couple spaces, um, like one to two that need to be fixed or erased, that's, you know, that's this area. If there are details that were used in lots of spots and you got like lots of details, that's, you know, three to four areas of details is where you would get in this one. If I feel like you did a lot of effort and you were just shy of this one, I will bump you up. Okay. I tend to bump kids up when it comes to my rubrics. Um, this one is like some effort was used. Three to four places need to be redone. Some details. Details are important, guys. We've been talking about this all year. Um, little to no effort was used. Um, many areas need to be redrawn or erased. More time needs to be put on the project. You're going to get over here. And if I can tell that no effort was used and the artwork was rushed, what do you think is going to happen? Okay, you're not going to get any points. Project requirements. This project requirement area is for um, the other Google Doc tells you, you know, you get, a, you get to choose your project. And below each project is like a description of like what I want to see in the project. Like make sure you have a value scale. Make sure you are doing like atmospheric perspective. Make sure you're putting details, emphasis, all that stuff. As long as you're following the project requirements, you'll do fine. If you're not following the project requirements, you're not going to get any points. That's just how it works. And to make it a lot easier for you guys, I put the scoring guide right in here with it. So these are the points that you can get on your rubric. And this is the score that you'll receive because of the points. So keep that in mind. All right. If you don't do anything completely, you're getting a zero. If you are doing really well, like if I feel like if you get 19 points on your rubric, I'm going to go back in and bump you up. I'm not going to lie. You're going to get bumped up. If it's like, you know, if it's really close, guys, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to recheck it. I'm going to bump you up. I'm, I just do that. I want you guys to do well. And if you, it looks like you're really putting in the effort and you're just not there, I'll bump you up. I know that working from home is a lot harder than being at school. So please check back on the rubric that I'm putting out here for you guys, just so it helps you. I just, I want you guys to be, you know, do well. All right. Take the whole week. Make sure you get it in by Friday. If you can't get it in by Friday because you're doing some touch-ups or you're editing some little pieces of it, email me so I know. And that way we can get it, you know, we can get it in by, you know, the following Monday at the latest. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good time and do well.